Dan, you're seeing both Reed and Mahomes say yep. that the officials yep. should have been communicating with them. Did you find that to be true in your playing career in these moments? Yeah, all the time. Officials would, hey, guys, you got to get back or whatnot. So I think it's this for me. Number one, Kadarius Tony. You should always look at the official to say, hey, am I on? If you did that and the flag got thrown, we got an issue. If you didn't do, do that, the Chiefs got to figure out, well, we got an issue. So I went back. I watched every single snap from last night that Kadarius Tony played. Not one time did he check with the official. But that play that we're talking about was not the first time it happened in the game. This is the second play of the game, his first snap. Kadarius Tony's up top. He is on the line. Now, the guy opposite him is supposed to be on the line as well, but he's about three or four inches behind Kadarius Tony. That's almost the same alignment wow. that we're talking about when it comes to the flag getting huh. thrown. But there's no warning that gets shared with Kadarius Tony on this play. This is his first snap of the game. Okay, a little bit later. Look at where the football is. The football is on the 30-yard line. <laughs> look at where Kadarius Tony is. <laughs> he's in that same exact alignment. Now, look at the receiver opposite him. That guy is supposed to be on the line of scrimmage as well, but he's actually in the right alignment. So Kadarius Tony is basically in the same alignment that he was when that flag got thrown. A little bit later in the game, Kadarius Tony, look where the football is. Look at where his foot is. That looks exactly like the play that happens with the lateral. The guy opposite him, he's technically on the line as well, but he's three or four inches off. Kadarius Tony is in that same alignment consistently throughout that football game. Never once does he check with the official, but never once in that same alignment did the official ever warn him, hey, you have to get back. So is he off sides on that final play? Yeah, he probably is. But he was three, four, five other times in that game. So it's incumbent upon the officials in that situation to make sure he gets warned because that final play happened multiple times within that football game. Now see, this is why you so good at your job, Dan. They should have just threw four penalties on Kadarius Tony because on the last play, he was lined up by the damn back judge. So I don't really know. You know, when you, when you look at this, I think I, I do understand Patrick Mahomes' frustration, but I don't think it's just about that play with Kadarius Tony. You go back to right. last week and the DPI against uh, Valdez Scantling that isn't called. It seemed like the officials seemed to swallow their whistle and allow the players to dictate how the game is decided. And Patrick Mahomes was asking for that same thing in this situation. But when you're looking at the letter of the law of the rule, the officials actually didn't do anything wrong. The official looked down the line. He thought Kadarius Tony was off sides, which he was, and he called the penalty. But this is just like when you get an illegal contact. That's away from where the football is going. The officials make decisions the entire game. There's a flag that could be thrown on every single play. But when you see that Kadarius Tony was consistently offsides the entire game, it yep. makes you wonder why at that point do exactly. you decide to throw your flag? And in that case, to me, the official is in the wrong because you either had an opportunity to warn him the entire game or not throw the flag in that situation as you hadn't the entire day.